Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Happy holidays to you and your family. I hope everyone is well and staying safe. My name is Lady Lee. I am a certified life coach. I specialize in relationships, love, and self-awareness. Um, if this is your first time bumping into me, stick with me. You might like what you hear. Okay, in the meantime, subscribe. Uh, leave me any comments, uh, any suggestions. Um, everything is in the description that you need to know about me. You check out my bio and you see everything. Okay, now today's video is, the name of the video is, Did I Sleep With Him Too Soon? Let me repeat that. Did I sleep with him too soon? Well, it depends on who you're asking. Now I'm going to tell you if you slept with him too soon, as soon as I come in. trying to figure out if you gave up the cookies a little too soon well i tell you what it depends on what that person intentions was it depends because you can sleep with someone you can have a one night stand you could sleep with that person today and then six months later you're married Three months later, you're married. I've seen it happen. I know I have a friend that um, he went to a little little gathering, social gathering. He went and the woman that he saw, he made his way to her. But they're married today. But when he first saw her, he knew. He was like, that's my wife. That's my wife. So when someone, when a man sees you, they can't really tell you what they're looking for. They cannot tell you what they're looking for in a woman. They, they have an idea. But when he actually see you in person, something triggers. And he know if you're the one for him. He, he just know. And so by you sleeping with him on the first date, the second date, the 25th date, does not matter to him. If his end game was to get you to be his wife, should I say that again? It doesn't matter if you slept with him on the first day, second, or 25th day. If his end game was for you to be his wife, men don't think like us. We, we like, oh my God, he, what is he going to think of me? What is he going to think of me? I slept with him. Well, you already done it. He didn't put a gun to your head. He, you know, got you all hot and bothered and you went with the program. That's exactly what happened. Because you could have very well said no. You could have very well thought about your values and you could have waited. Okay? You could have waited. I saw on on family feud the other day, they had a question, like one of the survey questions. And it said, how many dates does it, how many dates does a man go on before he stopped chasing? You know what the number, number one answer was three dates. I couldn't believe it. Three dates. So that means our first date, okay, we went to the movies. Our second date, okay, I guess we went to dinner. So our third date, what do we do? We go to bowl, bowling or something or went out to a little lounge or something. And then I'm going to fall into bed with you because after because after the third date, you, you're done chasing because that's their goal. That's their end game. Their end game is to get you in the bed as quickly as possible. If he's not thinking about marriage, all he's thinking about is taking you to bed. 
Now, if now if, if a man wants a wife, he wants to settle down, he looking for his queen, he looking for that right woman to raise his children. I'm not talking about him. He's good. I'm talking about the ones that don't want marriage. Okay? So, you have to be the one to set the tone. A man always follow your need. He follows your lead. That's what a man does. He, you know, he might flirt and try to get you all this and all that. That's what he does. So meanwhile, you're sitting there talking about, he, oh my God, he is all over me. Oh, he likes me. He calls me. He texts me. He this. He, he just, oh my God, he just won't leave me alone. Oh, he don't like you that much. He's lusting for you. You have to know the difference. So then when you finally go to bed with him, then you wonder why he's not calling you back. You wonder why he's MIA, right? Did I sleep with him too soon? In his eyes, it doesn't even matter. Because his end game was to sleep with you. That was it. Okay? A man will value you more if you make him work. That's what they do. They like to work. They like to chase. They like to run. Okay? Stop making it so easy for him. And then you won't sit back and be wondering, what did I do? Did I, something is off. Oh, uh, he's not calling. I slept with him. But that was his end game. He's done chasing you already. It does not matter. If you, you made you, okay, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months. You haven't slept with him. He's all over you. So you, you, oh, he's the one. Oh my God, he's the one. He's so attentive. He's this, he's that. He takes me out on dates. He's just, oh, he's, he's, he's everything to me. Nine months, 10 months in, you decide to sleep with him because you think, oh my God, I, I got the one. No, he's finished his race. He's done with the race. Him sleeping with you was his prize. Now he's done. Okay? You didn't do a sprint with him. You did a marathon with him. But it is all the same. They're racing. They all got that adrenaline popping. They all, you know, excited. This is what runners do. At the start of, of the beginning of the start of the start line, they all they hype, they they this, they oh, you know, they just oh my god. They they you know they ready, they practice, they this, they study, they did all of this, right? Then the race start woo, whether it's sprinter, 200 yard dash, 400 meters, 600 meters, right. Then you got the marathon runner. A marathon is what? 26 miles. He's pacing himself. He's running. He's pacing himself. Right? He's not asking to sleep with you. He's pacing himself. He's taking you out. He's showering you with gifts. You probably was running your mouth anyway when he asked you, well, what you looking for in a man? You just told him everything he needed to know. Now he ain't got to work. So you told him you wanted that man that's attentive, that's caring, that's loving, that takes you out on a date. You told him all of this. So he studied it. He's pacing himself. Remember, it's the marathon. It's the marathon. He paced himself. So now he's in the race, right? He's in the race. He's coming along. He's coming on that last final mile. He had that 26 point mile right right so it's months down the line 
six, seven, eight months, maybe a year, year and a half. Boom. You slept with him. Guess what just happened? He just finished the race. So being that that's what his end game was, was just to get you into bed. He going to do whatever he has to do. He going to do whatever it takes to get you in the bed. Okay. So you ask yourself, did I sleep with him too soon? That doesn't matter. Because if his intentions was to date you, to wife you, you can sleep with him the, the next hour. It don't matter to him. If his intentions is to marry, marry you. Now, if his intentions was just to sleep with you, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to him, right? So either he going to be a sprinter, you give it up right away, or he going to be a marathon runner. You give it up months down the line. But what is his end game? What is his end game? Is his end game to marry you? Is his end game to, to just sleep with you and throw you to the side? Is his end game is to bleed you dry, have you bankrupt? When a man see you, see a woman... Yeah, he think you cute. He think you fine and gorgeous and all of that. You got it popping. He see all of that. But he also see an opportunity. A man is always looking to see what he can get from a woman. But notice, he can't get it unless you give it. So you have to be wise in your decisions. It's up to you. You can't be mad at him because he slept with you and he's gone. You can't be mad with him because he don't call, he don't text. He doesn't come around. He doesn't give you money, shower you gifts, take you out on dates. You cannot be mad with him. You be mad with yourself because the time that you getting all hot and bothered, that was a time that you should have been figuring out what you wanted. Did you want just to sleep with him too? If that's the case, okay, fine. But if not, if you didn't and you wanted more, you should have made him work. A man is going to work for something that he feel is valuable. If he feel that you're valuable, he's going to work for you. He's going to work for you. But he has to look at you and see the value in you. Once he see the value in you, he knows, oh, I, uh, you know what? I can't play her. Either I'm going to be correct. Either I'm going to be uh, honest and loyal and marry this woman. Or I better go ahead about my business and go play with Susie or whoever. Because once he see that value, he's going to work. He's going to cherish, okay? He's going to polish. Just like they have their dream cars, whatever their dream car may be. Somebody's dream car might be a Toyota. Another person's dream car might be a Benz, okay? Mercedes uh, um, Corvette. Whatever their dream car is, if they don't have the funds for it, when they look at it, they see the value in it. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It doesn't matter how long how long it takes them. They'll work overtime, triple overtime. They'll work sun up to sun down till they get the money to buy this car because they see the value in it. They see it. They want it. They cherish it. That's why when they finally get that car, you see them every time you turn around, they're in the car wash. They get in the detail. They make sure gas in the car. They pay, it, pl pay close attention if it's dirty, whatever the car needs, oil change, whatever, brakes, whatever they need for this car that they work so hard to get. 
they see the value in it, they're going to cherish it. So just like he did for that car, he going to do for you too. But he has to see the value in you. If you don't show him the value in you, you don't show him how, how valuable you are, your mind, your spirit, your soul. If he don't see all of that on you, he could see how gorgeous you are, but he have to see that inner beauty. If he doesn't see that in you, he doesn't see the value in you and he's not going to work to get you. He's not going to do that. So you have to make the choice to say, you know what? I am in, tr in control of my body. I'm in control. I don't care how hot and bothered he is. He has to see the value in me. Marry me. Marry me. Because I'm, I'm that girl. I'm that woman. I'm that queen. Once he see that, that one night stand or you won't be worrying about, oh my God, what he think of, what do he think of me? I slept with him too soon. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. First of all, if he finds the value in you, he don't want to sleep with you right away. He wants to see what he's getting into. He wants to. Okay. So. Like I said, we are in control of our bodies. This is this is your body, okay? This is your precious gift. You got Corona going on. You got STDs. You you have all type of different diseases or whatever that you can't even get rid of, okay? Not only that, you don't know what spirits that you're lying in. Spirits are real. You don't know what type of spirit that intertwine in, in fluids and all this crap. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. But if you wait, cherish the moment, find out what you need about him. This is what you need to do if you want to get married. Okay? Because his ultimate goal is to make you his wife. That's his end game. But you have to show him that you're valuable enough for him to see that he has to work to get you. Okay? So, that's all I have on that subject. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Alright? Have a good evening. Thank you.